ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان اليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحدي حدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدع وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد today is the 23rd of dhul qada and the 10 days of dhul hijja will be in a few days inshallah remind us benefit the believers barakallahu feekum so today we will try to concentrate concerning the 10 days of dhul hijja because these days are mentions wal fajr wa layalin ashr was shaf'i wal watr by the dawn by the 10 nights and these 10 nights here the scholars mention the tafsir of it is concerning the first 10 days of dhul hijjah and by the even and the odd Some of the scholars say the even is the day of slaughter and of the sacrifices the tenth of the Hijjah and the odd is the day of Arafah the ninth of the Hijjah Allah also mentions that they may witness benefits for themselves and mention the name of Allah on known days and again the tafsir point towards the 10 days of dhul hijjah also Allah mentions and remember Allah during specific numbered days these verses here this verse here re- refers to the days of tashriq the 11th 12th and 13th of dhul hijjah the three days after the blessed 10 days The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no good deeds done on other days are superior to those done on these days referring to the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah Then some of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said not even jihad he sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied not even jihad except that of a man who does it by putting himself and his property in danger for Allah's sake and does not return with any of those things so here we are reminded that these 10 days are the most beloved to Allah therefore we take heed to the advice and these days become most beloved to the believers and we don't only proclaim our love for these days by saying we love these days but we put forth righteous actions and actions speak louder than words 
So firstly, we strive to do deeds regularly upon sincerity to Allah and according to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We strive harder to do good deeds in these days because Allah has honored and favored these days above other days. Apart from the compulsory deeds, we engage in extra deeds, extra acts of worship. So from it we have the Salah, the fasting, the nine days, being dutiful to our parents, the giving of charity, Hajj and Umrah, reciting of Quran, keeping family ties, making the dhikr of Allah, feeding people. Also from good is leaving off evil speech and actions in these blessed days. May Allah make us from those who take heed to the advices and who put forth righteous actions in these 10 days. Because these 10 days, good deeds done in them are superior to deeds done any other time. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahum lahul mulku wa lahul hamd yuhyi wa yumitu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala thumma mabad Again the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised the Sahaba concerning these ten days that no good deeds done on other days are superior to those done on these ten days. And they asked not even jihad, meaning doing jihad on other days. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, not even jihad, except that of a man who does it by putting himself and his property in danger and does not return with any of those things. So here he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that the only one who has a better deed is the one who dies that of a martyr. And from these days, we have to note concerning it contains a very blessed day, Yomul Arafah, the day of Arafah. Allah mentions, and by the promised day, and by the witness, and by what is witness. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the promised day is the day of resurrection, and the day which is witnessed is the day of Arafah, and the witness is the day of Friday. From the virtues of the day of Arafah, is that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there is no day in which Allah sets free more slaves from the hellfire than he does on the day of Arafah. Also from the virtues of the day of Arafah is that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked concerning fasting on the day of Arafah. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, it expiates the sins of the previous year as well as the following year. Umar ibn al-Khattab, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, 
he mentioned that a man from the Jews said to him, a man from the Jews, he came to Umar ibn al-Khattab, and he said to him, O leader of the believers, there is an ayat in your book, the Quran, which you read. If it had been revealed to the like of us, the Jews, then we would have taken that day as an Eid. So he said, Omar said to him, which ayat is that? The man said, this day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. So Omar said, Indeed, we know of that day, as well as, as the place in which it was revealed upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and he was standing at Arafah on a Friday. So again, these days, as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam put it best, no good deeds done again. No good deeds done on other days are superior to those done on these days. Referring to the first ten days of the Hijjah. And as the companions they asked, not even jihad, meaning if we perform jihad on other days. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned not even jihad on other days, not even jihad, except that of a man who goes out with his wealth and his life and he is martyred. So the deeds done in these first ten days of the Hijjah are superior to deeds done on other days. And again, I advise myself and I advise you all, let us try to be dutiful to our parents. Let us try to put forth extra solar on these days. Let us try to put forth extra charity, good deeds, recitation of Quran, the zikr of Allah on these days. And these days also contain the takbirat. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Let us be from those who engage in good deeds in these days. These ten days, the deeds done in them are superior to deeds done on other days. Also, the reminder is for us to stay away from evil speech and evil actions. So may Allah make us from those who take heed to the advice. May Allah increase us in knowledge. May Allah increase us in iman and righteous actions. May Allah grant us all good in this life and the next. And may Allah protect us from evil and punishment in this life and the next. Amin. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وأكنا ذم النار سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك حياكم الله